fuck are you doing? He's one of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so is Drax. And I ain't going inside this fleabag's head. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh... Take him out. Before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Uh, oh, fuck it. Just shoot the mutt! No! You can do this, Peter. He knows you. Sure got a funny way of showing it. He's just scared. Well, I'm scared our heads are gonna explode. An implosion feels more probable. That's it. Flark this! Stavrat! Who dare take Cosmo? Do not creep in shadow like a kid. Hey, you're the one trying to plork our brains from the inside! Cosmo! It's us! The Guardians of the Galaxy! Nip! Even Pesky Raccoon would never sneak up on Cosmo like a coward. Show yourselves! He doesn't see us! He's still in the promise! Cosmo! Where are you? What do you see? Blue sky. And cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma. How you say? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden. Just walkies for going. And ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Not at time that matter. Same reason Katadian not go home. Yet. But home is not same. Can never be the same again. So it no longer has this fresh grass that you speak of. I too would not want to live on barren rock. It's not about rock. It's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, color with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet... You had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. Family would never turn back on Cosmo. Raised since he was mere pup. Just because someone feeds you and trains you doesn't mean they're your family. Daughter of Mad Titan King know nothing of loyalty. Turn tail on home, on Papa, no doubt on Guardian of Galaxy. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about! Cosmo need not be psychic to sense traitor. <sighs> Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right! Yet, it's too late for old dog to learn new trick. Mother child will honor promise, and Cosmo will be best boy. Fine! We'll stop them ourselves! This Cosmo cannot allow. We'll induce coma. Until fulfillment of promise be. Wait, what? It's for best. You are, how you say, in dog house. No, hold on! Your precious promise can't be fulfilled without this. What is? <laughs> what is it? You know what it? Want it? Ready? Go get it, boy! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that worked. It won't for long. Let's get out of here before he comes back. <sighs> Guardian of Galaxies will heal! Mother Child! Cosmo! I... <laughs> Flarkin' Flark! How'd we get here? We exited the Continuum Cortex. This ain't where it usually leads. 
How'd we get here? We exited the Continuum Cortex. This ain't where it usually leads. Scott, he's good. It's an illusion. Cosmos trapped us in another mental prison. Stop. Listen. What's that? A9 barking. Too strident for Cosmo. Great! Instead of one dog, we're gonna get attacked by a whole bunch of them. A collective noun for a group of young dogs is a litter. I have crewed. So Cosmo really turned to the dark side. Rather live in his memories than the present. Promise is incredibly hard to resist. Come on, Quill. We've been in worse spots. We can figure a way out of here. We should look for the puppies. They must be terrified. Guess it's better than wandering aimlessly. The dogs respond well to chewing noises. That's stupid and wrong. And he's doing it. Oh. I think we're getting closer, right? The barks are getting louder at least. Barking is getting fainter. It's kind of hard to follow. Don't help every hall looks the same. We seem to be heading in the right direction. Why do you sound surprised? Because I am. We have to be close. The yapping is getting louder. And more annoying. How many times are we gonna walk past the same noodle shop? That reminds me. I am starving. Me too. I am Groot. Groot says we're getting closer. Hey, buddy! What are you doing in here? This charm is an obvious trap. No, no. I think he's trying to help us. Back on Earth, dogs were always trying to help people. Really? Well, on TV, anyway. Aren't Cosmo's puppies telepathic? Shouldn't he be able to talk to us or something? Maybe this one's just a regular dog. He must be the runt. <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay, buddy. Okay, he didn't mean anything by Should it. Should we follow him? Might as well. Okay, little guy. Lead the way. Great. Now we're following one of Cosmo's kids. And it's the dumb one. He's not dumb. He's just regular. Is that what they used to tell you? I'll take it. Because I know that teasing comes from a place of love. Too bad about Cosmo. This condition is shared by thousands across the galaxy. Millions even. And who knows what'll actually happen to them once Raker and Nikki complete the fulfillment. We won't let that happen. We gotta get out of here before we can even try to save the galaxy. Oh, 
Oh, way to get us out of the woods, little guy. This puny whelp will be a great warrior one day. Yeah, a real beast. <laughs> if you want me to triangulate Mr. Mouthful's location, we gotta get inside. You coming, buddy? Oh, it's... it's not safe here. You ever been on a spaceship before? You gotta help your dad and family. I get it. Go get him, buddy! Everything and ship everybody. You never know when you're gonna need some leverage. Can't tell if you're joking or not. Good. Paranoia is healthy. 